Okay, so we're checking out two things in this video. Uh, we're checking out a new uh, nano video transmitter here from uh, AKK. This is the X5 Pro and it's a 16 by 16 video transmitter. And we'll get to that here in a second. Second thing is this frame that I've actually had for a while. This is the FlexRC Mira 95 and also comes in, I think a 110 version. So it's 95 millimeters motor to motor. And what I did was I took, um, basically I did a conversion. Uh, if you saw a video from a while back, uh, if you guys recognize the top of this and the bottom of this, this was the HBX64. Um, yeah, not a good model. I uh, had a lot of issues, mainly the video transmitter wasn't working, which is why I actually put this one in there. I'll talk about that in a second. And just a weird size with the weird, like, propeller that you can't find anywhere. I think it's like a 35 millimeter propeller. So I decided to, to gut this. I took all the parts out of the frame here and I put it into this frame and I'm putting a 50 millimeter Hubson prop on this. I mean the parts themselves uh, electronically seem to be okay. It's using these happy model motors, uh, 0802, 16,000 kV and it's using a 16 by 16 stack there. The stack seemed fine, just the video transmitter was no good. And the, the fact that it's a 16 by 16 video transmitter that I pulled out of there is perfect for replacing with this AKK one. The one that this one came with was not working correctly. And I just moved everything over, you know, the stack and uh, the canopy, the camera, the motors fit perfectly on this frame. Nice little 1S uh, park cruiser. You could probably do 2S as well. Uh, the board will do 2S, I think up to 10 amps. But I just wanted to do 1S, like 450. Um, I changed the connector to just a single instead of a um, two 1S batteries. It flies really nice. Uh, but mainly, I, I want to talk about the video transmitter. And so I just swapped that out. Interestingly, uh, this particular video transmitter only has three holes, not four. The fourth one's missing. So this one here has uh, smart audio built in, uh, which, is, which is why I would recommend. You could use the button here and just have instructions for that if you want to, but I mean... Yeah, using the lights and the buttons on that. Not really recommended, kind of hard in my opinion. You have all these connections here on the bottom. So you have uh, power coming in here. And actually, let me bring up the diagram on the uh, instructions. Okay, so if we look at the diagram, we have uh, five volts coming in uh, the far left, then ground, that's this little pigtail here. And then you have green, that's smart audio. And then you have the red, which is 5 volts out to a camera, and then ground, and then video out. So these are all on solder connections, so you could, if you want to use these cables, or are nice silicon wires, you could use these, or desolder de those and uh, solder on the ones from your flight controller to this one, no problem. Um, yeah, you just have to find a UART for your smart audio. This does have this uh, little part here with a voltage regulator that you can plug in here. So obviously this will only take 5 volts. I think this is if you want to use something more than 5 volts to power up your video transmitter. You could use this little pigtail here, plug this in. Don't know what the uh, what this voltage range of this video, I'm sorry, this uh, voltage regulator is. Um, it's not documented anywhere in the instructions. So I'm thinking it's probably something like 2 to 4S, something like that. And then of course it'll output 5 volts, but double check that with a multimeter so you don't accidentally fry your video transmitter because this isn't documented anywhere. So you can plug in a LiPo in here and then see what kind of voltage comes at this end with a multimeter to make sure it's 5 volts and then you should be fine. I haven't actually used this so I'm not 100% sure on what, what the voltage is on that one. But yeah, that's everything that comes in the packaging. Now this video transmitter is power switchable so it goes from uh, 25 milliwatts up to 200 milliwatts and then there's two steps in between. So there's 25, 50, 100 and 200 milliwatts total. There is pit note as well, and then of course on the antenna, it does come with a micro FL connector with a little micro FL whip, whip antenna, but of course you could swap that out for an antenna of your choice if you want to. Um, it does come with a microphone on there as well for recording audio, although I don't know how useful that is. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it for this uh, micro video transmitter. Uh, if you're looking for a 16 by 16 size, up to 200 milliwatts, this one seems to be pretty good. I'm going to show you some flight footage of it running on 25 milliwatts, and then also on 200 milliwatts. And you can see, even on 25 milliwatts, it was pretty good. Pretty, I mean, for the distance seemed pretty uh, far enough, at least for a park. I'm not sure if I'd be flying something like this super long range anyway. I mean, 200 milliwatts will take you pretty far. So, 
probably beyond the range of my adults receiver here, so you'll see that it's pretty similar in terms of what the reception looks like. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.